What is up you guys and welcome back to yet again another Midwest Madness video. Now today I have an absolute banger for you guys. I'm sweating because it's hot outside. It's like almost 70 degrees a day. <clears throat> We're at some ponds in Montana where I think there's some pretty good bass fishing. There usually is here. Um, this will be the first bass fishing mission of the year. So with any luck, we'll catch some big ones. If you guys want to see some bass fishing action from Montana, stick with it. Stay tuned. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, drop me a comment. You guys know the deal. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Really quick, <clears throat> I just want to say this video is sponsored by Mystery Taco Box. These guys, thank you so much, uh, MTB, for sending me uh, these boxes, all this good stuff. If you guys want to get a box of your own, check the link down in the description. Uh, it's the best for getting bass fishing gear that you might not otherwise get. Or just if you fish a ton and you always need to be restocking, then it's also a great way to do that. So I think today, we're gonna have to go with a finesse worm of sorts. Or maybe a TRD craw. Hmm. We got a little bit of darker water. This, this first pond we're gonna fish, it's a little bit darker. So maybe we'll try maybe a black and blue trick worm, maybe. Huh? Sweet spot. Okay, basically the sun behind me is really bright, so I'm just gonna get rigged up and we'll catch you guys out there on the water. All right, you guys, we're gonna start the day off with oh where's my, there's my weight the exo ned i don't know if you guys can see that texas rigged exo ned um i don't really know what stage these fish are in right now now i'm going to tell you this pond specifically if you can see here it's like all muddy water like it doesn't look very good fishing at least not for up here you never think however i was here last year and i watched a dude off one of these trees out here pull in like a three or four pounder so right along here I'm just gonna fish it like your typical Ned rig just a nice yo-yo retrieve I don't know if these fish are quite spawning yet oh fish wow fish just jumped out of the water right there I mean I don't think that was a game fish probably but that's a new one we're fishing the windblown side uh, of this pond too, so I know for a fact there is a lot, a lot, a lot of carp in here. I never gave this pond the time of day, just simply because I didn't think there was any fish in it. I fished all the way around those other ponds, never caught crap. But I mean, it's a good spawning habitat. You can see it's nice gravel on the on the bank. You would assume gravel in the actual pond. Uh, this is a dark color. It's like a black, like I said, or a dark gray even. Um, so you would think it would show up pretty nicely in the water. I only have one Texas rig, I think, so let's not get it stuck. I don't want it to walk all the way back to the car for a new one. I've got some cranks and stuff, but I think these fish are probably moving up, getting ready to spawn if they're not spawning yet been a pretty cool spring so all right we're gonna step in right here i don't see any snakes no snakes no snakes all right we're good the way i like to fish i always like to fish out to in so you can definitely see it's getting a little bit deeper here anywhere there's any little bit of structure or anything i always like to just ease my way up on it first uh, probably not a fish, but you never know. Always feels like one. See that guy catch that one last year. I think he was right off. Yeah, he was right here. Right off this ledge. Seems like a pretty good spot. Let's see if we can flick one down in there. I don't know how well we'll be able to pitch a cast, but let's see. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit anything. Fish. Oh no! Frick! Well, I've probably officially freaking lost that one now. There he is again. Oh! Dude! I just gotta let him eat it. 
What is this? It's really a big wig on there. It's definitely a bass. I can't see him. Got him that time. Let's go. Let's go. That's a stud. It's a stud. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Come here. Oh no, don't you get off. Don't you get off there. Come here. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, let's go. Look at that fish. <laughs> let's freaking go. I knew there would be a fish in there. Oh my gosh, check that fish out, you guys. What? Dude, this is exactly where I saw him last time. That fish is so heavy. Oh my gosh. That is definitely my PB Montana largemouth. That is for sure. Let's go. Flipped in there on the third flip. Oh. My PB Montana largemouth. What the heck? Oh my gosh, look at that fish. Oh my gosh. What a fish, you guys. That's a, easily a three pounder. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful Montana largemouth. All right, let's get him back. That's a stud. That's a bigger fish than I even caught in Florida. What the heck? All right, let's get him back. Oh my gosh, this is by far my PB, at least three, if not four. Dude, that's the biggest bass I've caught in a long time. And we're in Montana. You guys, don't sleep. Like my thumb is cramping from trying to hold that fish up. That is insane on the Exo Ned. I would not have caught that fish if it were not for those Exo Neds from MTB. Uh, man, you guys smashed the like button for that. That's an awesome fish. Uh, all right, well, let's get back in there. Make a few more casts. It's fishing this lay down out to end, just like I said. I missed that fish like three times. Maybe there's another one in there, who knows. Caught any? Uh, I caught I caught one, but that's it. <laughs> just one? Yeah, just one so far. I, I caught uh, three, but really small ones. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know if there are big ones. So yeah, for big. sure. There, there are a big. I here, I'll show you the one I caught. Pretty good uh -huh. one, right over there uh -huh. by a tree. Oh no, that's yeah. much bigger than mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's the biggest one I've ever caught out of here. So uh -huh. I don't know. That's a that's a pretty good oh, one. But this but, was today. Yeah, like oh, just cool. a bit ago, right by that lay down, I caught uh -huh. him. Yeah. Next to the trees? Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So you got a YouTube channel? Uh, well, I'm about to start it. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm not uh, from here. Well, this week I went fishing bass uh -huh. for the first time in my life. Nice. Uh, yeah. Right there, see that tree limb right there? It's a bunch of bass hanging out under. And of course. Oh god! Come on, stay pinned. Stay pinned. It's a decent fish. It's a decent fish. You hear him pulling that drag? Golly, man. It's not even that big of a fish. But he is pulling some daggum drag. Come on. Come on. These daggum fish are so fat in here. Come on, I don't want to hook in my hand. Right in the top lip there. Look at that fish. Those fish fight so hard for some reason. It's like it just fell right off. Look at that. Beautiful Montana. Largemouth. Pulling some drag. Beautiful fish. All right, let's get this guy back. Maybe we'll catch another one. I mean, right on that limb. That's got to be the one I was looking at already. Away he goes. See, dude. Well, you guys, that is going to conclude today's episode of Midwest Madness. I caught my personal best Montana bass, plus another little nice bonus fish. Lost a few, uh, scared a few, but overall had an absolutely great day. Met a subscriber, so that is so cool. Um, yeah, you guys, if you like this kind of video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, you know, the whole nine yards. If you're not doing that, then I mean, how am I gonna pay my bills? I mean, this is gonna help me afford my mansion one day. So <laughs> share this video with a friend if you enjoyed it, but thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next episode of Midwest Madness. Peace.